Well, do you hear that? That is the sound of cicadas. This is the year they come out, and wow, around here, it's almost deafening. You can see them flying around in the trees there. It's hot. It's like 90 degrees. There's one. Pretty crazy. They've been a few days this week. They've been really loud like this. You can see some flying around out there. And there's got to be like a jillion of them. They're everywhere. <laughs> anyway, we've got our John Deere back in business here. You needed a new end for the, uh, the PTO drive shaft, which drives this gearbox here. The PTO shaft runs along the side of the engine, and this little drive shaft couples the gearbox to the shaft that runs along the side of the engine. And uh, had to do a little deck repair too. And uh, Booger welded a, a strap along the back here because this was, it had busted out and all the grass was being flung up into the hydraulics and everything here, so I had to fix that. Fortunately, I still have a big gap at the top there, but hey, it'll do for this year. Probably need to do a, a major welding overhaul to this deck sometime in the near future. And the Axeman, well, you know, it's been 80s and 90s all week. It has been a challenge to keep it lit. Man, it's been rough. So probably, uh, how many How many have we had? Since, so, so today's Sunday, since last Sunday, we've had like five outfires. So that means only, only two days we didn't have an outfire. Hopefully we don't have an outfire today. But yeah, we've, we've changed the settings a lot. I have it running three teeth right now. I, I tried a three and three inch fan pulley to bring it up to 1725 RPMs on the fan, just so it would recover from sitting for so long. And that didn't work. So now I have the, the timers actually running one minute every 30 minutes and we still had out fires after that so yesterday we uh, put the four inch pulley on the motor so now we're overdriving the fan I forget exactly what that is but that's probably like 2200 rpms 2300 rpms on the fan not sure we might have to bump up the uh, auger speed too because it seems what happens is the uh, since it, it doesn't run for very long it doesn't really get the fire going at all on a timer cycle or anything so I'm figuring that speeding everything up closer to the factory settings will probably help that Right now it's on a heat call. Let's see if it's recovering. I think it'll be recovering. Yeah. Boy, the temp just went up. 153.5 a few seconds ago. Now it's 153.6. Should go up to 153.7 pretty soon. Well, hopefully it will. A good sign is the stack temperature is going up. If it's up over 200, the fire's not out. 
see if we got anything going on in here. Mm, not really. Just some black rocks. But it'll recover. Yeah, see, we're up to 153.7 now. So, this looks like it's working. We filled up the barrel last week. Still got like two thirds of a barrel left. And part of the problem is that's the bottom of the bin. And you can see the bin's empty now, nothing in there. So that means all the fines and crap that was at the bottom of the bin <laughs> is now in the barrel. And it's it's usually challenging to get that stuff to to burn right, so not surprising that we're having uh, problems but that'll probably be gone the next week or the week after and then we will um, probably just switch over to the van word in the basement since it has uh, there's probably a good two and a half three tons of coal down there and it's not as bad dealing with pulling the ashes out of the basement in the summertime because Typically, you only need to do it once every, you know, 12 to 14 days. So you can go the you can go the better part of a month without uh, with only taking the ashes out like two or three times. So that's the plan. Let me take one more look. See if the fire broke through yet. You can see some glow down there. You know it's alive. All right, that's it for this week. So there's one of these cicadas right here, sitting on this post in the front porch. You can still hear them; they're loud as hell. They're just flying around all over the place. I guess everybody gets to eat cicadas. <laughs> There's another one. There's one of the, uh, the shells that they break out of. There's another one there. Crazy bugs. Well, I don't know where he's going, but he's going. <laughs>